Solar power as we know it is about to change from daytime to nighttime, all thanks to a new piece of technology. This device can produce electricity even after the sun has set. We're super fortunate to have this sitting here at the University of New South Wales. Scientists are now able to harness the power of radiation off warm surfaces. So any time you point an infrared camera at something and you see, oh, that is glowing, we can put our semiconductor device onto that surface and we can generate power from it. It's the first time anyone in the world has proven it's possible. What we've done at the moment could power a wristwatch from your own body heat. Still in its infancy, the technology can only generate around 100,000 times less than that supplied by a solar panel. Because this was really like the first experimental, experimental demonstration, it wasn't that we you know, were trying to reach the maximum possible efficiency. If you wanted to put this on your roof and power meaningful appliances, then you'd be able to maybe power your Wi-Fi at night from this. Thermal imaging cameras show how much radiation there is at night. The next phase of development looks at how nighttime solar will charge satellites in space. There's a little more optimizing to do before maybe it's uh, useful terrestrially, um, but we are working for, to get these on uh, a spacecraft, a satellite in, in the next couple of years. Earlier this month, the team at the University of New South Wales was recognized as one of 55 finalists at the Eureka Science Awards. Digby Worthmuller, ABC News, Sydney.